Hey everybody, it's Kevin Abbott from Barrel Monks Brewing, and this week on The Perfect Pair, I'm in Delray Beach at the Delray Hideaway. And this place holds, it holds a special place in my heart because I used to work at a place called Cafe Lunarosa, right on the beach. For years I worked there, many years ago, uh, mind you. And this was, when it was back when it was Pepe's Hideaway, it was like our, our regular hangout. This is one of the bars we came to probably three, four nights a week, quite honestly. Uh, so I have a lot of memories in this place. It's absolutely fantastic. It's been taken over. It's a different, it's a different uh, restaurant and bar from the days that I remember it as. Uh, and it's now the Delray Hideaway. And it's got a really, really great menu uh, that has some really, really fun foods here. And as you can see, I have two dishes in front of me. And we're going to have uh, some habanero chicken wings as well as a Cajun seafood platter. Uh, if you can't tell, the uh, theme of this is spice. We've got the spiciness of the habanero, and we've got the spiciness of the Cajun, uh, the Cajun spices on the seafood. And we're going to pair both of those with single and Havana. I think single and Havana, I, I love spicy foods with single and Havana because the guava flavor, it's a blonde with guava, that tropical fruit flavor really, really plays well with all manner of spicy kind of dishes. It's also a blonde ale. It means it's light and it's crisp and it's dry. And those things are going to go together to refresh the palate and really be a cleansing aspect when you have these like rich, spicy foods. And once again, adding that guava flavor in there is gonna work really well. Uh, we're gonna dive in first with the wings. Now these were, we, the reason why we did two dishes is because we couldn't pick what are the best things to do here and the ones that would really work. So we're going with the uh, the wings specifically because the habanero sauce is made special by the chef. He actually uses his own peppers in making this dish. They grow them here. And he actually, uh, one of the managers was telling me, Clint, that uh, every batch may be a little bit spicy or a little bit less spicy. Uh, depending on the actual peppers I have. So I'm a spice guy. I love spicy food, so I'm excited to see this. Maybe maybe I won't be able to handle it, but we're going to pair, pair that here with the single in the bag. So, do a little bit of blue cheese on that. Spice is starting to hit me a little bit. But that's not too much for me. I have any stretch of the imagination. I can take a good amount of spice here. Really, really nice with a single Nirvana. I'm going to get another bite there. Yeah, adding that guava, that fruit nature to that habanero makes it absolutely spectacular. It's really, really nice. It kind of rounds out and softens some of the, the spicier notes and it makes it really, really tasty. And gives a dish something it doesn't have already. It's got nice spice. The sauce, the sauce is really complex and really interesting. And this kind of set off, I mean, more interesting uh, by the guava. Let's go in here and we'll try the Cajun seafood platter. Uh, this is fantastic. There's mahi, there's scallops, there's shrimp here with some basmati rice, a little bit of broccoli. The sauce looks fantastic as it was being made. I'm going to go in with the scallop first, maybe a little piece of the mahi. Classic Cajun spice. Not too much hot, not too much heat. They're really flavorful. Rich, buttery. And that's really nice. That buttery, that richness gets cut by the dryness and the cleanness of the Blondale. The food aspect does a very similar thing. We're, we're doing very similar things with both these dishes. We're cutting some of that heat, cutting some of that spice with that nice tropical fruit, adding to the dish. But this is another one of those dishes because of the spice characteristic and almost like a broken record talking about it with our beers, but when you're using Belgian ale yeast, which single Havana does, you get these spice box flavors, uh, these phenols that come from the yeast. And when you have spicy dishes that, like this that have the blackened seasoning, it really heightens all those flavors both in the dish and inside the beer itself. The beer, the yeast flavor really, really comes out and becomes more pronounced, making the entire combination even more interesting. I've got to get a little bit of this rice with one of those scallops. Yeah. These are both winners. I think we picked two dishes. We usually pick one. 
A lot of times we have a hard time narrowing it down, but we went with two dishes. I really wanted to do this one. Uh, Clint said, hey, you've got to try the wings. So we said, why not do both? And if they both work really, really well, uh, Delray Hideaway over here on Atlantic Avenue. Single events have been on draft here for a very long time. They do a great job with the gear. Always support Fair Lamont, which we really appreciate. But uh, it's a great place to watch a football game. Uh, the menu's really, really good. They've got a great craft beer selection as well, which is awesome. I love them supporting local craft beer. I love all the beers that are on draft here as well as Barrel of Monks. Uh, so come on down here, check it out. Come in, play some pool, play some darts, uh, and have a great time at Delray Hideaway. Have a single Havana and uh, the Cajun Seafood Platter or the Habanero Wings. See you next time. Cheers.